What's going on guys? Caleb here, Caleb's Property Maintenance. Alright guys, as I promised, here comes the 25 hour review of the Xmark Pioneer. Let's get into it. Super happy overall with this mower. My first uh, ever 60 inch mower actually. I have only once driven a 60 inch mower before this mower. And it was at our camp. It was a scabber. <laughs> That's inside joke, some of you guys will get it. But anyway, um, and the cut quality was definitely not as good as this mower. And this was a couple years ago and I can even remember it was not as good. So that's really saying something. Anyway, guys, all right, I'm going to give you my thoughts, uh, the good, the bad, the ugly, and um, as to what I think about this mower. So let's uh, get right into it. Let's see. Guys, what should I do? The, the good things or the bad things first? Uh, let's, do the, let's do the bad things first since those those come to my head easier than than the good things i don't know why they just do because the bad things are really seem to be like glaring at me all right guys so first off why is the parking brake not connected to the levers it would make so much more sense if when you put the levers in neutral like that put them out if it automatically engaged the parking brake. I would think that would make way more sense. I don't know why you have to make a separate lever. It would just be so much nicer because the parking brake has to be engaged before you can start the mower, but then disengaged before you put the levers into the drive, which uh, it makes sense, but why can't it just be connected to the lever? I, I don't get that at all. All right, moving on. There's no deck assist. There's no spring assist for the deck. It's not it's not a bit it's not a deal breaker by any means. I mean it's not a laser Z, so I I understand you have to cut some corner, but um so it's just a personal preference thing. I wish it came with it, but it doesn't. Not not a deal deal breaker by any Let's see. What else? Who in their right mind puts a gas tank fill on the side of the gas tank? I have no idea. Somebody needed to uh, go back to school and uh, rethink that one, I think, a lot. Um, it's not, here again, it's not a deal breaker for me. It's just more of a personal preference. You can get more gas if you put it on the, on the top. But um, it still supposedly holds uh, seven gallons. I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that. But um, so it's not it's not horrible. But I think I could probably get maybe another half gallon to a gallon if I could fill it on the top. Um, I don't know why. Why somebody would put it on the side? <laughs> Just to be different is the only thing I can come up with. But yeah, I really don't get that at all. Um, these are plastic covers. Um, my turf tracer, they're metal. Um, I know Xmark is just going completely that way. Um, and I, 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 I understand, it's, it's a whole lot easier. You can just literally, you can literally just um, snap this right on off. <laughs> I don't want to do it because I've already done it and I've pinched my finger every single time. But um, <laughs> I'll, I'll figure it out but uh, and I like that there's no tools required to get in there um, and if you want to blow out the deck really really well um, it's very easy to take that off yeah I, I totally understand that um, I don't like that it has a Kohler on here that that literally is totally my luck with um, 
with finding the mower. Um, I know they had some model, uh, some that they put Kawasaki's on. I just prefer Kawasaki over Kohler. I've never owned a Kohler until now. Um, and you can you can just see like this this metal and this metal around here. It just looks chintzier than than the uh, Kawasaki. And um, I think this uh, shroud cover part is about the same uh, in metal thickness as the Kawasaki, but it just the way they paint it makes it look chintzier. I don't get it. Um, this is more like a, a uh, car style uh, oil check. There is no screw, you just push it right in. That's a little bit weird, Kawasaki's screw in. I, like, I think that design's a little bit safer. I think overall, I think that's it for the negatives. Not too, too bad. Oh, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, there's another one. Tell me, where is the gas gauge on here? Where is the gas gauge? It should be like right here, or in the screen. It should be somewhere. Where is that gas gauge? There is absolutely no gas gauge on the thing. I do fill it up every single morning, so I don't have a problem with not having one. It, I just, a habit I've gotten into because I've had to do it with the turf tracer too because there's no gas gauge on there, which I don't understand that either. Why can't you just add a gas gauge? And on top of that, I don't think you could put one on here because of the way it's going in on the side. Mm, that bugs me. Why is that? I do not get that at all. And then one last thing, I, prom I promise this is the last thing. Uh, you, maybe you guys can help me with this. I think there's something wrong with the deck support because I like mowing at either, well, see on the turf tracer, you only get half inch increments. So I've, I've, I've been mowing at three inches. Last year I mowed at two and a half and it was too short. It burned the lawns up really quick. So I raised it up to three inches this year. I saw tremendously better results. I am really happy with uh, the three inch cut. But um, recently I've been mowing it at, we're gonna say quote unquote, 2.75 since I can mow with this in quarter inch increments which I love and 2.75 is right in that in the in the middle between two and a half obviously and three inches and I like that because it, it doesn't lay the grass over quite as bad three inches lays the grass over pretty good and I like 2.75 because that doesn't quite lay it down but here's what I don't understand check it out this right now says it should be at 3.25 when I'm pretty sure it's mowing at 2.75 which would make it a half inch off and it used to be a whole inch off that's a whole nother story um, the tire pressure was not even close to where it should be so it was a whole inch off so I raised the whole mower by half an inch so we got that partially rectified but I still would like to get it completely rectified because it bugs me because every time I change the height because there's you know certain customers that I want the backyard shorter dish that whatever um, there are certain of those where you gotta change the height and then I have to always think it through that it's half an inch taller I have to put the pin half an inch taller than where I actually want it so I always have to think it through and it just gets annoying the turf tracer was very nice I could just pop the pin and I knew exactly where it should go and there was no second guessing so I'm gonna either have to talk to the dealer you guys can leave me a comment down below what do you think about the uh, deck uh, chain support if that has to be somewhat adjusted I am not sure uh, let me let, let me know but um yeah, I think uh, that, that concludes the uh, negatives. Now to the positives. I like the seat. I know it's not Xmark's um, full suspension seat or anything crazy. It was it was the full suspension seat at the time. The Pioneer's two years old. This was the last the last year they made the Pioneer, so it's as new of a Pioneer as it can be. Um, so it's it's pretty good. I'm sure the the newer Xmark seat is even better. 
but it, it's not bad for what it is. And you can even, with this lever, you can adjust the seat um, some, a little bit forward. Obviously, me being 6'4", I am not going to have the seat any bit forward. But um, so it's as far far back as it goes. But uh, you do have the option if you're shorter to uh, adjust the seat a little bit forward, which I like. Number two, I like how these handles are can be adjustable in three different positions. Um, it was when I got the mower, it was on the highest position, and uh, it was it was as surprisingly at, as big of a person as I am, it was a little bit too high. The handles were too high. So I lowered them to the middle position, and I'm really loving it. So great job there for doing that. I know the uh, the laser Z's you can do that on too. I'm pretty sure. I, I have not checked closely, but um, I, I'm pretty sure. I like that the um, model and serial number are very accessible, as well as that uh, whatever that X mark uh, stamp thing is, whatever, right there. I also like, let's see, moving on around here, yes, I also like that they made the oil drain the same as on the turf tracer. Love it, just undo this bolt right here and just put a pan and it just drains right out. Beautiful. I <laughs> don't know why the oil filter has to be so jammed in there. Oh. It was terrible because I changed it after the first uh, five hours, obviously, and um, so I had to literally have my dad help me get the oil filter off. It was crazy. Anyway, um, we only put them on. Here's a little note for some of you guys. We only put on the oil filter about hand tight. We do not crank on it with any sort of uh, filter. I don't even know what you call it, like a filter wrench or whatever. We just put it on hand tight. It never comes off change it every 50 hours anyway so um, not a problem there so now this next time I do it it won't be nearly as bad of a problem since it's, it was only on hand tight um, let's see I like that um, it's a very uh, I don't know how you guys can tell if you guys can see that the screen um, it's very easy to read you have um, little arrows that light up in those boxes to let you know if everything's right and then a, a red light if so you know if the battery is dead or not. So we have a, a little arrow if the blades are engaged or not, an arrow if the parking brake is on or not, an area, arrow if, the, if it's in neutral or not, and an arrow if there's someone sitting in the seat or not as well as just your standard hour meter and it has 25.5 hours on it that's why it's a 25 hour review guys <laughs> pretty uh pretty common sense to me um another thing as you can see the roll bar is up here's a little thing of uh about why i mow with the roll bar up i do not mow uh too steep of hills for the most part, I have a couple where, where it's a little bit of hill. There's one yard where I can't even mow with this because it, it, it would be a problem. But um, there are some, some spots that have some hills that I'm really surprised how good it can handle on hills once I got comfortable with the controls. At first, I was sliding all over the place because I, I wasn't quite comfortable with the controls, but now I'm pretty good, uh, I think, with them <laughs> considering... I've driven it for basically the full 20, 25 hours minus a couple hours, so I've, I think I've gotten fairly comfortable on the controls, so I'm, I'm very happy with how it handles on hills overall in general. Very, very happy. I will show you guys some footage hopefully this week of me mowing on some of the, some of the hills so you can see how steep they are. They're nothing, nothing too crazy, um, but yeah, very happy with how it handles on the hills, especially after... I got the tires inflated to the proper uh, inflation. It doesn't bother me too much that these front casters are um, are not um, are not no flats. It's I actually surprisingly don't run into a lot of nails and things like that. I have never had a flat tire in either the Turf Tracer or this now uh, ever. I just I just <laughs> for some reason. 
have been fortunate enough to not have a flat tire. Oh wait, why did I jump? No. Stink. <laughs> How did I get on that rabbit trail? I mentioned the roll bar and then somehow we got, ugh. Anyway, back to the roll bar. I will show you guys, I'll set this camera down and I will show you guys why I mow with the roll bar up. Ready? Here we go. I think you guys can clearly see why I mow with the roll bar up. That's right, I'm a big person, or I should say a tall person, and so if I had the roll bar down, it would be, I would look so huge on the mower, it would not even be funny. There is one yard that has some lower trees, so I have to put it down for that yard, but other than that, I just leave it up. And it's really simple to, to put down, you just literally have to pull out these, um, these two pins here. Uh, of course that one will be stuck. It doesn't quite line up sometimes. Anyway, you just pull them out and it rests right down on here. There's a rubber piece that just rests right down on here, so it's perfect. Takes two seconds to do. And also another thing. I was shocked that this can actually fit in the trailer with the roll bar up, but it does clear it by about an inch, so I'm super happy about that. Alright, I think that's going to wrap it up. Um, oh, 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 the cut quality. Let me talk about the cut quality for a second. The cut quality is amazing. This is an Ultra Cut, Ultra Cut Series 4, 60 inch uh, deck, obviously. Um, and I can tell a huge difference from the Series 3 to the Series 4 an amazing amount of difference. I can't believe it how just a little bit one series up makes that much of a difference. But guys, so much better clipping dispersion, um, so much just a better overall cut than the Turf Tracer which has a series three. And this was another selling point for me actually because the new, the new Xmark Radius only comes with the series three even on the 60 inch, it's only a series three, not a series four. And like, I had some wet conditions this past week, all those thunderstorms and rain that we had. And so it hardly clumped at all, if any really. And I was surprised how little grass was even stuck underneath the deck after I was done mowing for the day and I scraped the deck. I was surprised there wasn't much at all. I, I really could not complain whatsoever. So I am really happy with the cut quality, super happy. So guys, here's one last look at the old Pioneer before I get it really dirty. On a little side note guys, I can't believe it. Thank you so, so much. I cannot believe I'm almost at 250 subscribers. It seemed like just yesterday I was at 7. Man, ah, you know what, stay tuned, stay tuned for the video coming up, the 250 subscribers. You're not going to want to miss that. So you know what, stay tuned, there's going to be some big thank yous going out, maybe possibly a giveaway, stay tuned. Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up for this one. Thanks so much for watching, overall I absolutely love the Pioneer. Um, some of you guys know that I was thinking about getting an Xmark uh, Vantage when whenever they could, they dropped the new model but uh... this came this came up uh... through craigslist a deal i couldn't really pass up and uh... super happy i made the decision i just had to you just have to think long term i know in probably five years guys i'm gonna want to sit down anyway so uh... Th this deal came up and uh... i couldn't pass it up so you know just just make the long term because this this mower is going to be taking me to uh... 3,000 to 3,500 hours. Believe me, I'm I'm using this mower until it, it <laughs> it's used up. <laughs> so, all right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for the 250 subscriber giveaway. Make sure you guys share this video. That'll help. That'll help me get to 250 subscribers for sure. And then uh, the next goal will obviously be 500. I can't wait to get to 500. So. Alright guys, make sure you share and uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next episode of Caleb's Property Maintenance. Have a great rest of your day.